Good morning guys. Don't mind me sitting on my floor. I just like filming my empties videos right here in this spot because this is kind of where I gather and keep them until I'm ready. So I just want to like sit on the floor and show you my absolute favorite empties. And the reason, I know I've said this before, the reason I like doing empties videos is because it shows you that I've used the product and repurchased them. So everything I'm going to show you is empty or close to empty and I've repurchased it because I've loved it. So with that being said, I'm just gonna start showing you these products. Um, before, sorry, sorry, before I jump into the products, I know I will probably get questions on my sweater. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for my sweater, it was only 19 bucks. And then these I believe were pretty cheap too. And I chose orange, like an orangey coral color to wear because it's my way of just reaching out and grabbing for summer instead of wearing like a nude or like whatever. I chose bright because I'm just praying that it warms up around here. Anyway, now let's jump into the products. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is my boy's hair gel. I ordered this on Amazon and I like it clearly because um, it gives shine but it doesn't have a greasy look and it doesn't have like, it holds really strong, but it doesn't have that like crispy look. Anyway, for me, I just love this. You put it on the hair when your kid's hair is dry. That works the best. I have done it when, when it's wet and I just don't feel like it works as well that way. So I'll have that in the description as the first product. And then I'm not even gonna save the best for last. This flipping, makeup setting spray it's by Farsali it is gone and empty I do feel like it's a little pricey but it transforms my makeup like no other setting spray has it's like when I when I use other setting sprays they do their job and they kind of take the powdery ish look and it kind of melts the powder and makes it look more skin like this makes it look skin like and then when I'm done I take a beauty blender which is next and I will like once it's mostly dry very lightly I go in and pat the setting spray because it it's not that it leaves like blotches but it kind of leaves like little like spritzes you can see where it like where more has hit somewhere and less anyway this just like blends it in and when I'm done, I get right up close and I look at my makeup and right underneath my eyes looks better, just in the crease of my nose looks better, just everywhere. And it, it brings, it accentuates the bronzer, which is like gorgeous to me. Anyway, this is by far, this is by far one of my most favorite settings. <laughs> It'll be linked in the description as well. Okay, so now I'll just do the beauty blender. This has seen better days. Like I use a beauty blender. Come on, focus on me. I use a beauty blender every single day, kind of all day. You get it wet and then I go in and I blend out my um, foundation. I'll blend it down my neck and then I'll, with the fat butt part. And then with a pointer, I set my concealer and I wipe that on my eyelids, dab a little here, dab a little there. And then when, and then I'll do the rest of my face and then I'll use my makeup setting spray. Once it's all the way dried, then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and kind of blend it out. Sometimes if I get carried away with my blush, I'll take the butt end of it because it matches the foundation and I'll blend the two. Like I'll, like I'll put my blush right here and then this is how I'll blend it. Kind of in a horseshoe shape right here. If I put too much highlighter on, I'll take the concealer part because that's the color that I used up here and I'll just go in and dab where the concealer or the highlighter got too much and then during the day or at the end of the day it will have um, dried up a little bit I will not get it re-wet because when I do that it will take my makeup off it could just be my skin like it could just be a me thing because I know a lot of people will spray it with like a setting spray or something and then go in and touch up ruins my makeup every time so I just leave it as is and I'll I'm gonna get in and show you what I do underneath my eyes because this is where I always have to do it I'll kind of stretch the skin because the makeup sets right in here and I bet I even have some like set right now yeah I kind of do so you all take it and I'll just softly go in just right there. 
see that's like how I'll touch up with it and then makeup always creases like in here I'll touch up here and then like right here on those lines I'll touch up there so I use this bad boy morning noon night <laughs> I mean I don't touch up that often but if I needed to I'm just saying I use a beauty blender all the time I will put in the description um, an off-brand version of this lots and lots of brands have a version of a beauty blender this is the original beauty blender I've tried all of them and this one is the best other ones are good and they work well but none of them have quite the same density as this one either they're too dense or they're not dense enough I've tried them I personally don't love them as much so this is my favorite I'll put it in the description I'll also put a link to um to a cheaper one for you. Um, I get asked a lot what eyelashes I use. Clearly these are empty. Uh, these are the Ardell Wispies, not the Demi Wispies. I, I actually loathe Demi Wispies. And sometimes I've made an order and they've sent me the wrong ones and I want to lose my mind. So I don't have false lashes on right now. Um, these are basically the only ones I'll wear because they have, I mean, I like other ones, different occasions, fine, but on a day-to-day -day basis, even sometimes when I'm like really dressing up, these ones are just my favorite. I love a lot of lashes. These ones are just my favorite. Okay, so there's those. And then no, I swear when people tell me their favorite lashes, they never talk about the glue. Um, not because it's the same brand as those, because I've used the duo glue. I just really, really like this lash glue. I feel like I have a hard time. Come on. Same with my camera. It's having a hard time. Um, I feel like I have a hard time yanking my lashes off with these. Like when I'm done and I peel them off at the end of the night, it like takes my eyelid with it. And to me, I'm happy about that because I just think, all right, my glue is doing what it's supposed to do. So this is my favorite lash glue and I always get it in the dark color, not the clear because the clear dries white. So there's that. The last product I want to talk about, I don't have a ton of them, but these ones are just like the cream of the crop. The cream of... <laughs> they're, they're the best ones. Okay, so... This is not empty. I think I threw away the empty one, actually. I started using this one. The lid fell down the drain. This is Bite Beauty, and it is an agave lip mask. And I use this at night. When I wake up in the morning, it is still on as if I had just applied it. You actually have to, like, wipe it off if you want it to go anywhere. And my lips have never been softer and I swear they're like plumping my lips. They're pr it's probably actually not, but I feel like it is. Maybe it's because they're plump with moisture. Mm, probably. Um, so I have, oh, I just realized I have like hair spray on my nails. That's kind of gross, but it's like brown hairspray because I'm actually losing my hair and my hair is thinning. And so I spray like a spray on my hairline so I don't look as bald and all over my hands cute so um I love this one they also have the stick form I should have been aware when I was watching or when I saw it on display it was like the whole thing was like tipped to the side I just thought it was the heathens that like try it on in the store or whatever but this is the stick form of it I thought it would be the same formula it's not this one does not taste as good I mean believe me I still used up the whole thing it's completely gone um, it is convenient to like put on, but it's so soft that the second you put it on, the whole thing like tips off and it just doesn't taste as good and it doesn't work as good. It doesn't stay on as good. So this is an empty that I'm not, this is the only empty that I'm not going to repurchase is the stick form, but get this. And yeah, it's probably the most expensive gloss and it's not even a gloss. It's like a lip treatment that actually works. Um, it's the most expensive one I've ever bought, but it works, it works, it works, and it lasts you forever. I've been using this for a hot, hot minute, like probably a good month. And my kids use it. I make them put it on at night because my kids, you know the like red line that the kids get from like doing this or like sucking all over their lips all the time, especially during the winter? 
and they get that like red ring. I coat their mouths with this, like I overline it under their skin, and the next morning it's basically gone. So honestly, I feel like this is these two. These two are like the bee's knees. Um, okay, I say that about all the products, but that's all I've got for you. Not like a ton, but enough. I don't think I've done an empty on YouTube for like years. I have done like a few empties on Instagram and when I was doing it on Instagram I thought I should really just make this into a YouTube video and share it on Instagram. So that's what I'm going to do. If you guys aren't following me over there I do share a lot of a lot more beauty type stuff than I do here on YouTube. Um, so you can follow me there. That will also be in the description. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you try any of these products, tag me so that I can see what you got because that's kind of fun for me. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.